And you know what the Lord spoke to me and said? There are some people that's been fighting against you and they're in trouble. There's some folks that have been putting their mouth on you and they're in trouble because they judged you. Watch this here. And they labeled you. They put a label on you and they judge you. And God says, now I'm going to get them for you. That's why it's so quick for us not to be able to get angry and upset and get into unforgiveness or bitterness or get resentful behind what somebody did to you. Because listen to me, you are God's anointed. Amen. Come on, push your neighbor and tell me he's talking about you right now. You're special to God. You're special to God. God's got his hand on your life. And if somebody labels you, Somebody persecutes you, do wrong to you, there ain't going to be in judgment against God's judgment coming against them. So Gamaliel was, was warning the Sanhedrin council, don't attack these disciples of Jesus too quickly because if it's of God, you, and you fighting against them, you're going to be fighting against God. So just let it alone. We'll find out what it is. Verse 40, and to him they agreed. And when they had called the apostles, they beat them. Now, you might need to underline that. They beat them. They beat them for, for righteousness. They beat them for because they was standing up for God. I'm going to tell you something. We're living in a society nowadays that ain't popular to stand up for God. But I don't know how many of y'all going to stand with me, but I'm going to stand all the days of my life. I stand for righteousness. I stand for holiness. I stand that, 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 that what biblical truth for family. I stand for family. I wish somebody else would stand with me. Okay. All right, we'll see. And they beat them down. Beat, a beat down. Beat them and they commanded them. Look what it said. They beat them and then they command. Ain't nothing worse than somebody whoop you and then they're going to command you to, 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 not to do something. Now you didn't whip me, now you're going to lord yourself over me. Then said, and they commanded them that they should not speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. And they, you need to circle the word they, and they departed from the presence of the council. What? What's the word? Come on, everybody, what's the word? Come on, I wish I had somebody could say the word out loud. Now this don't make sense. But see, neither does faith make sense. Huh? Faith is the, is the sixth sense. See, we got to understand that they, they knew and they, and they understood that God is greater than in this situation. So they left after being beat down. And then they left rejoicing. That might be a secret in there somewhere. <laughs> I can tell this side don't want to hear the secret, though. I can tell. I can tell. The, uh, you, I sure said it might be people put in there. Oh, no, let's leave me alone. Uh, I, I, you know, it's already hard enough for me to deal with going through a trial or a tribulation. But don't you ask me, preacher, that when I'm getting uh, persecuted or being abused because I love God, don't ask me to rejoice over somebody whooping my behind. Did he say behind? <laughs> but he said that they rejoice in it. Why? Because they knew that God was going to vindicate. God was going to manifest on himself. So listen to me. It is your rejoicing in your trials that causes God to show up in a greater way. Amen. You'll see it. But look what it says here. And they left, and it says they left rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer. That's a new word in the body of Christ. Suffer. See, no, we want Christianity without any kind of complication. There's a suffering. There's a trial. There's a tribulation that go along, and the enemy is not going to let you get in here and be unscathed without going through something. But see, that's why we have the greater one that's in us than he that's in the world. That's why God says, I'll never leave you. Listen, when God's on your side, he's bigger than everything that can be against you. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. 
Look what it says here. Look what it says here. And it says in verse 42, and daily. They said they, were, they, had, they kind of worthy that they could suffer shame for his name. Right. Suffer shame for his name. And daily they were in the temple and in every house they ceased not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. They were not going to let the circumstances, hear me now, let me go, I just, let me go, no, y'all slow over there, let me go over here. They were not going to allow the circumstances, come on, y'all, to dictate to them. Turn to neighbor and tell them, stop it right now. Just shout at them, tell them, I said, stop it right now. Come on, come in, I mean, stop it right now. You stop letting the circumstances dictate to you. Listen to me, what we do is we dictate to the circumstances. We dictate to the circumstances by our what? Faith. I speak the word I'm dictating. I'm not allowing the situation to dictate to me. I wish I had some believers in this house in here. We don't allow circumstances. That's why it's the trying of your faith. The enemy is working hard to try to tear you down, to make you give up on your faith, because it's only your faith that's going to bring you through that situation. It is your faith that's going to um, upgird you and uh, uphold you and sustain you in the midst of your battle. So the enemy is trying your faith. God, why hasn't happened yet? God, I've been praying. I've been, I've been believing. Listen to me. That, listen to me. You just got to keep believing. You got to keep on fighting. You got to keep on standing. You got to keep doing the word. Because I'm telling you, if you keep doing the word, the word will work when you work the word. 